album de reprise de Cat Power intitulé Jukebox. On retrouve notre rayonnante chanteuse en interview pour en savoir un peu plus à son sujet. Comment arrivez-vous à restructurer toutes ces mélodies Because of the band, my friends that I'm playing with now, the um, Dirty Delta Blues, they, um, we just uh, practiced because I was touring for my last record, The Greatest Record. And we met to practice together to see how, if we could work. We didn't play any of the greatest record. We just started, I would, you know, we were all like, ooh, let's play this one. I want to play that one. And so basically, if one of us didn't like the way an instrumentation or an arrangement was going, we would, one of us would just say, let's, or let's quiet, or let's, um, you know, vamp, or we basically created the arrangements together. Um, Because they all kind of, we all like love more some than others, but we all love these songs so, as the original songs. Y a-t-il des chansons que vous n'avez pas réussi à reprendre? That's a great question. I, that's the one thing that I think I failed on this album. But I felt like the band's performance was so good, we all decided to stick it on the record. Was the Bob Dylan song "I Believe in You"? That's where I think I failed. Il y a aussi une nouvelle chanson, Song to Bobby. Vous pouvez nous raconter son histoire? I had to check my computer because I had been asked to go to Paris for this photo shoot for this magazine and I had originally had said no, not out of disrespect or uninterest. It was just that my schedule was very busy. And then I had just got an email that said, if you come, Bob Dylan is playing that night. And, you, and I said, well, maybe I'll do the photo shoot if you can get me backstage to meet him because I've been trying for about 12 years, 13, 14 years, I've never succeeded. So then I got an email about two minutes later that said, you're backstage. So I closed the computer and I put the computer there 
and I just, they were playing something, Matt, Sweeney, and Judah, and that, I said, keep playing, keep playing, and I just started, I want to tell you, I always wanted to tell you, and then I remembered all the memories I had of like being 15 or 16 with my friend, you know, smoking pot, you know, she was totally stoned, and I was just like, Bob Dylan, you know. Et finalement, vous l'avez rencontré? Yeah, and I, yeah, I got to meet him. I got to meet him. I spent about 30 minutes with him, and uh, he said, so, you know, he looked at me, and he said, so, we finally meet. I got all your calls, you know, all these years. And there was a big tour that he was on last year. I was trying to get a I was trying to get on the bill, and he's like, yeah, I was trying to get you on the show last year. And I was like, thinking to myself, no, you weren't, you know. But anyway, he's like, yeah, I was trying to get you on a show last year. Who'd I get? Who'd I get? Who was it? And I was like, oh, the raconteurs, Kings of Leon and Foo Fighters. And he's like, oh, okay, whatever. So, but maybe I wasn't ready then. Maybe I'm ready now.